Thank you for coming. Uh, um, we hear a lot about uh, the progress of China in the aerospace uh, industry, and uh, I was wondering to what extent do you think that uh, China will become a real threat to your industry? Uh, you mentioned that you are very tiny, etc., but we hear that the reports of a very amazing progress on aerospace for them, mm -hmm. and, um, and I wonder what kind of steps are you taking to prevent being a, a, a affected by their progress? Yeah, it's a great question. So I, I remember about 25 years ago, we were working on a joint venture, which didn't happen with a company. And they told me, a, they had a joint venture with another company in China. And they told me a story about they brought all their technology, they were manufacturing all the stuff, it was basically roughly a 50-50 JV. And the um, Chinese partner, after a couple of years, wanted more than 50%. And they wanted, you know, 60%, 70%. And the Western partner said, no, you know, I'm not going to do this. Forget it. And um, after a number of years, the Chinese partner said, here, to, to the Western counterpart, here, hop in the car. I want to show you something. So they get in the car. They literally go around the block to another factory. They walk in the factory and they say, you know, on the factory we have with you, we own it 50%. But you see this one, which, by the way, was a carving copy of the first one. We own this 100%. And this is, yeah. so that, when I was told that story, we were much smaller. And um, it scared the heck out of me. And we've been very careful. We do not have any operations in uh, any manufacturing operations in China. We have sales offices, but we don't have manufacturing. Um, and not because I have anything against the Chinese, quite the contrary. I've, enjoy, I've been there many, many times and really enjoyed the time. And I really have a lot of uh, uh, um, respect for what the Chinese have accomplished. But Heiko will not operate in an area where our data is not protected, you know, full stop. It's just we're too small. There are too many other opportunities. We're just not going to do it. So we've, we've stayed out of that. Um, Having said that, we do sell a lot of stuff into China. And um, we are happy to partner and work with the Chinese, but on a way where we, nobody takes each other's stuff. And uh, with regard to, I think where you may be going with regard to large commercial airplanes, they're really hard to manufacture. And I feel really badly for what Boeing is going through right now. I mean, yes, they made some mistakes that they shouldn't have done. But these are Herculean projects. And to do what Boeing does or what Airbus does is absolutely amazing. And there are no other companies on the planet that can do what they do or what GE, Rolls, and Pratt do. I mean, it's very, very unique technology. So I think it's going to be a very long time until the Chinese have a um, self-sufficient uh, uh, aircraft and engine business. I, you know, I, maybe aircraft, it will take at least 20 years, if at all. But remember, Boeing and Airbus, they're not standing still. And so, you know, maybe 20 years from now, the Chinese will be able to manufacture what Boeing and Airbus make today. Um, but as far as the engine technology, uh, it's, it's going to be, a, I don't think in my lifetime, frankly. And I hope to live a long time. <laughs> but.